हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल रेशमा फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट लाइंस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स एंड मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी फर्स्ट हो कैन वी फाइंड द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ फील्ड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ फील्ड टू नो दिस वी मस्ट नो अबाउट दिस लाइन्स ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड so first let us see how to trace the magnetic field lines for that place a white sheet of a paper on horizontal table place compass in the middle of it as shown in the first diagram the red color shows north now compass needle will come to rest the red color the red dot which is pointing that we call it as north direction so just keep the dot on either side of compass box and draw a line so now you got the north and south directions on that line as shown in diagram 2 place the magnetic bar magnet in such a way that north pole faces at the north pole we call it as geographical north right now place the compass at compass box at north pole of bar magnet as shown in the second figure put a dot at north pole of compass needle right in such a way again move the compass again keep the dot in such a way you continue until you reach the south pole okay now connect all the dots from north to south pole of the bar magnet you will get curved lines now after drawing that curved line again select another point as shown in the figure 1 another point again start from north to south again join the points and draw another curved lines in such a way repeat the process as you are seeing in diagram 2 on both sides repeat the same process at last you see the diagram 3 in such a way you will get the curved lines so these lines we call it as magnetic lines and these magnetic lines are nothing but imaginary lines because we are keeping the dots all right we are drawing the curve lines these are the imaginary lines drawn in the magnetic field such imaginary lines drawn in the magnetic field we call it as lines of magnetic field or magnetic field lines and now here see the diagram 3 see the arrow marks outside the arrow marks are from north to south and inside the arrow marks are from south to north every time outside the bar magnet the lines will be from north to south and inside south to north now the questions what do you understand by field lines we understand about the nature of the field how you will find the direction first let us know how we will find the direction then let us go for the strength how means as shown in the diagram 1 place the compass at any point on the line okay line so now this compass needle comes to the rest along the tangent drawn to the line c the red one shows the north pole so it comes along the tangent come to the rest along the tangent to the line now from this we can say that the tangent drawn at any point on the field line gives direction of a field lines when you keep the compass needle the needle comes to the rest along the tangent of that particular line so 
any tangent drawn at any point on the line gives the direction of a field lines. Now next one are these field lines closed or open? Actually we cannot exactly say because externally if we see we are finding the closed loops itself only but internally no one knows the alignment of field lines but we say as externally we are seeing the closed loops we say lines appear to be closed loop is the strength of field same at all points means no now see the diagram too near the poles you see north and south he wrote no near the poles you see lines are crowded as you go away from the poles you see lines are spreaded okay so field is strong when lines are crowded and weak when lines are spaced apart so strength is not same at all points next whatever field now we drawn is uniform or non-uniform why it is non-uniform why it is non-uniform because the strength and direction both are changing from point to point can we produce uniform magnetic field yes we can produce how to produce by passing current through a long cylindrical coil now what is the difference between uniform and non-uniform magnetic fields see the diagram in uniform magnetic field lines will be parallel to each other in non-uniform they will not be parallel to each other magnet if lines are parallel and strength and direction are same then we call it as uniform magnetic field i think it is missed just it is uniform magnetic field now it is produced by sending current in long cylindrical coil and non-uniform magnetic field strength and direction change at every point in magnetic field it is produced by our bar magnets now next can we give certain values of a magnitude to field at every point can we find the magnitude of these field lines in simple words yes we can find the magnitude a value a value of these field lines so how we will find that we call magnetic flux and magnetic flux density so now in diagram you see we are considering uniform magnetic field you see we took a area perpendicular to this field lines capital a be the area now some field lines are passing through this area so the field lines passing through this area <coughs> gives the strength of a field so what is magnetic flux nothing but the number of lines passing through the plane of area okay so now see here these are the field lines okay we took a area perpendicular to this now some field lines are passing through this area so this number of field lines number of field lines passing through the plane of area perpendicular to the field we call magnetic flux it is denoted by greek letter pi units are weber now the strength of field is defined by using the idea of this flux itself only now this strength of field is called magnetic flux density and it is denoted by capital b what is magnetic flux the number of lines passing through the plane area which is perpendicular to the field and what is flux density it is nothing but the magnetic flux passing through unit area taken perpendicular to the field the nothing but magnetic flux by area we call it as magnetic flux density it is also called as magnetic field induction now flux through unit area perpendicular to the field the ratio of flux passing through plane perpendicular to the field and area of plane we call magnetic flux density 
and that formula here flux through unit area perpendicular to field here formula we have to write formula is pi by a magnetic flux divided by area so from that we want flux no flux through unit area which is perpendicular to the field is b into a magnetic flux density multiplied by area which is perpendicular to the field now units are weber per meter square it, this weber per meter square can also be called as tesla now let us find out the formula for flux for any orientation of plane taken in the field as shown in the diagram theta is the angle between magnetic field b and normal to the plane with area a now effective area perpendicular to the field is a cos theta so now b means what pi by a we wrote no pi by a cos theta so but we want flux through the plane pi do cross multiplication you will get b a cos h theta so this is the formula for flux through flux for any orientation of plane taken in the field so by this we completed the magnetic flux flux density and lines of magnetic field so stay with my channel reshma physics to receive the next topics of electromagnetism if you like this video share it subscribe it thank you